My name is Mara Nelson Greenberg. I came down to Wildwind to work on a new play that I've been writing, and it is my first year at Wildwind. The play I'm working on is called Do You Feel Anger? Uh, it is about a, an empathy coach who goes into a debt collection agency to teach its employees about empathy um, and gets kind of sucked into the toxic work culture there. So I came up with the idea for this play by thinking about empathy. First of all, I learned that empathy coaches are a thing, which I find really interesting because empathy strikes me as a, a kind of innate idea or some, you know, a feeling based, something that would come out of you. And the idea that you would sort of teach it step by step was really interesting to me. So I was thinking about empathy uh, in light of the state of our world and how people um, have been listening or not listening to one another. The style of the play, um, it's a pretty heightened, absurd style. Um, you know, a lot of people speak their subtext out loud and uh, it, it's a comedy, I hope. <laughs> the idea is to keep people laughing. Um, uh, hopefully laughing for long enough that, you, that I'm trying to sort of like distract people into thinking about things that they might otherwise not want to think about. So that's something that I've, I've been sort of playing with here. From the first day, you know, we did this uh, talk back after the open reading uh, and I was talking to Sarah Lunny, who's down here with me, and we were saying like, it's kind of unbelievable how thoughtful and engaged everyone was and the questions that people were asking. It feels so rare to do a talk back that doesn't sort of devolve into different people wanting to hear their own voices. <laughs> and this felt like anything but that, like really smart, pointed questions and thoughts and ideas. Um, and since then, it's just been such a pleasure. I mean, to be in the room with such unbelievably talented actors and um, I love that it's an open room that people can sort of walk in and out and it it keeps the process kind of alive because there are different audience members there different moments and I've just I've gotten a lot of work done for the fact that it's been like two, three days <laughs> it's been really exciting for me to bring this play in particular down to Lubbock um, it's it's pretty out there and it deals so much with um, a lot about gender and sexuality and um, and trying to like trying to bring these small pervasive dynamics uh, that I have experienced in my own life up to the surface and, and state them really explicitly. So it's been really really exciting and helpful to see what resonates with audiences outside of, um, especially just outside of the group that I've been sort of developing this play with. Um, and it's been really fun to do that in Lubbock.